Hello and welcome to another very exciting episode of Glam Care Academy. I'm Nurse Amy, welcome. And this is the channel where we talk about small businesses. Well, you know, I shouldn't even say small businesses because small businesses become big business, but you know, starter ups and um, multiple streams of income for people in healthcare. Okay, and you also follow my aesthetic journey, which I am willing and um, excited to share with you. I'm actually in the process of getting a store now. You all know that you've been following me. Um, some person writes, wrote to me, um, I think it was after my last video was, when I talked about sensitivity of the teeth. When And this person was like, when do you turn people away? People have sensitive teeth and yet they're, um, um, they still want to get the um, teeth widening service from you. So as much as, we want to make money. I'm in this so I can make money um, because, again, it's multiple streams of income. Am I doing my nursing work? Yes. Am I still teaching? Yes. Am I doing aesthetics? Yes. I offer more than teeth whitening. Again, I'm at that place now where, you know what, you just have to work and do things that you love, you know. And some people start early and some people are starting late. I've start, reinvent, start, stop, start. It happens. You just have to keep moving. Um, one thing I'm so excited about is I'm a published author now. I'm actually going to put the links down here. Um, and these are self-help books or study help study no self-study books that help um CNAs on how to uh, navigate the preparation to the state CNA exams and those things that they need to know that can ensure they're passing. It all, I'm telling you, you will come back and thank me. People do. And I'm just, I'm grateful. And that's who these books, those that have, um, who, who keep asking me questions, you know, I, they're not necessarily people I've taught, but essentially these books will help you. Anyway, back to Glam Care Academy. You have got to teach your clients, much like um, a nurse will do, or even CNAs. However, the teaching in healthcare is ascribed to nurses, but I think anyone teaches. You can teach everyone. Just don't be teaching things that are outside your scope of practice. So, talking about cosmetic teeth whitening, you need to let them know what the expectations are should be do not lie there's no need to lie because when you lie it's going to hurt you please don't lie your integrity is at stake why lie if you're not sure about something tell them you know what um let me find that information and i'll come back and um and give it to you hopefully that will answer you. people appreciate um the truth i do and i know a lot of people do too just tell them the truth we don't have the answers um so someone have teeth sensitivity and they and they're insisting that they want to get their teeth whitened well this is the thing they have to sign a, a waiver form they have to sign um, um uh, informed consent they have to give informed consent to assist them in whitening their teeth um something i'm going to talk about maybe in the next video where we need to actually know how to navigate the, the legalities of teeth whitening because one thing you need to know is um essentially we're helping them assisting them to to whiten their teeth they have given you permission to be able to do those things because you are um not a dentist i'm not claiming to be a dentist or um a teeth hygienist right i mean i don't even know if they do such but what you're doing is they're doing the service you're actually just assisting them okay so that's the way to navigate that essentially that's what it is and it's starting i'm thinking this business is starting to boom uh, and i'm hoping that a lot of people more and more people pick it up because i think it's wonderful um i do find that men actually love to whiten their teeth which is interesting so teeth sensitivity is it a no 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 it's not you know um just because they have it just means that well the teeth sensitivity might increase you know once they have that gel in it one thing you need to understand the the longevity of the gel staying on them depends on the person i've had people who stay on for 30 minutes and they don't flinch and i've had people who stayed on for 15 minutes and they're like oh my god i need to get this out 
You got to listen to your patient. You can't ignore your patient and just walk away from them. So for those who are doing multiple services at the same time, which I do, you know, I'm doing one thing here and, uh, and then I'm doing another service, but I have my, I'm keeping taps on my patients, you know, um, they can reach me. Never, ever leave your patient alone, meaning you should eyeball your patients and know what's going on with your patients, whatever kind of service you're providing. Okay. So um, to answer the question, teat sensitivities are no, it's not a no, no. I've used myself personally as saying that teeth whitening is something that I, I'm, I have, oh God, ultra sensitive teeth. But for me to get my teeth whitening, it's an informed decision on my part. No one's forcing me to. So if I do go ahead and get my teeth whitened, it's because I want to. It's not necessarily um, that I don't qualify for it. It's um it's a decision that I will make. Now does that does does that put me in the high risk group? You know, people who are highly sensitive. Yes. So now you can turn people away. You should know that. You can say, hey, look, if you're highly sensitive, if you're on certain medication, if you are not, um, you know, you're vital. Something that I do, and I don't know if a lot of people do this. I actually, maybe because I'm a nurse, I do take vitals before I start any of my services. I really do. That is not only to protect me, but it's also protecting my, my patient. And I, I think it makes them feel good that they are in the hands of, an, of a trained and experienced registered nurse. So um, hopefully I gave you um value and if so give me a thumbs up it helps the youtube algorithm thank you very much i'm eternally grateful and um, if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for is free click the button down there and subscribe to my channel i tell you i bring i don't hold anything back anyone who knows not say me knows i'm all about sharing i'm all about sharing because i can't service everyone people need to understand that you know um what is yours is yours what is mine is mine so sharing actually if anything opens ways of blessing for you so um again hit the notification bell if you subscribe today when you subscribe today and those of you who already subscribe from the bottom of my heart I love you, but hit the notification bell so that you get to see my videos once it comes out. So I'll see you in my next video. Be safe.